I think my next vault, I think what I want to do is try a, a big loot run and try some experience gain stuff, right? The best source of experience now is killing mobs. But then again, like how many mobs can you kill versus how many chests can you loot? And chest still gives experience. So I don't know what we should do for an experience run, but I would like to try something to get as much XP as possible. Uh, just for the interest of like how, how far can we go? Now we have this rule, okay? And I'm going to stick by this rule. Unless there is an event, or unless we've hit level 90, we are not allowed to use catalysts. Why do I have this rule? Because I have the most companions on the server. But how can we get as much XP as possible? We gotta loot and we gotta kill. I think we're gonna do something a bit weird. I just wanna see how good this would be, okay? Because what I'm thinking we do is we run over power, because then the, the wreckage isn't that bad. And then we get three times gilded. We get a crap ton of chests with 11 challenge stacks. I'm not here to power level, but obviously the burger is going to double anything we do instead of our mana orb. The question is if that's worth it though. Don't use the burger. No, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about like, like, I just want to see how much we can get without the burger. We can always, do if we want to know the values in burger, we just double it right afterwards. And I think we're going to do a brazier. I think brazier might be cracked here for this because you can get accustomed. And do we need anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's throw one of the easy augments on. Let's throw like Lush Cave on here. So that's spiders, overgrown zombies, regenerating zombies, no shooters. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got 10 braciers. Oh, this mm, grievous wounds is kind of bad though. Okay, let me just test how my... Okay, I can one-shot these with, with the rampage. That's good. I should just... Actually, we don't have any wooden stacks on here. Okay, without, it's kind of bad. We want to be fighting. But I don't know how much XP the different mobs gives, like I know the horde mobs gives less. We want to make sure to kill it just as much as we can. I guess maybe dungeons is another angle here. I'm not sure. It's fun because I feel so like unknowledgeable in this. Dungeons can give so much experience. Yeah, I should have maybe had a dungeon hunter then. So it's a bit tricky because I can't just loot. And I guess if in order to use overpower fully I should actually just spawn things now. Probably. Yeah, I, as I say, it's fun because I don't know what I'm doing. So oh, this is huge for us. Okay, I don't feel like we're doing a lot of killing. Oh, here we go. Shining Sword would have been a lot better here for sure. Ooh, th three times or eight. This could be huge. Here we go. Okay, this is going to be good for our experience. Another interesting thing, by the way, speaking about experience, is um, running, uh, running, uh, building item quantity for the sake of getting experience. Because higher level chests, like Omega chests, Rare chests, etc. gives more experience. Which is interesting. Maybe it shouldn't be that way, it's kind of weird, but it is that way. Okay, now do we switch and just loot? Like, do we just go pacifist now? Probably not. Okay, the Grievous Wound hurts. Coins aren't good for XP, they give like 1 XP per stack, okay. I know that killing mobs is good though, but like it didn't feel like I killed a lot of mobs there. It might just be a me issue to be honest. But maybe if I do this, maybe if I play it like, eh, the problem is spiders hurt. I was gonna say, maybe if I like spawn in the entire room, do the thing. Thank you for the absorption. 
I don't think mini slimes give much, if anything. Ooh, more champions. Champions don't give an extra experience though, but we take it anyway. Only six minutes? Okay, so we actually need to focus down a way, our way out. Because not winning the vault would be detrimental for the experience. Ooh. Two. Oh my lord, the damage though. We are but humble glass cannons. Okay, we really have to find some braciers. This is the way you power level someone, by the way. You, you run co-op. One person who's power leveling the other one just runs for a custom ones. We can take this one. And the other person just loots and kills. Is that Grievous Wounds again? I don't want to do Grievous Wounds, man. Ooh! Okay, okay. If we do do the mine room, we cannot have curses, for sure. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Bro, one minute. We have to find so many braciers. Okay, brace on. Time. Slowed and shortened. <laughs> the two ones that I can't take. Okay, we can take this. Oh, that's good. We take it. Okay, now I'm not going to be able to heal at all. Strength and chunky, sure. Uh, there might be a better one. Ooh, there is a better one. Guys, we have 80% increased experience in this vault. GG's. I don't feel like we killed any mobs though. 110, okay. 204 chests. We killed 310 mobs, okay. It's not terrible. We actually got 2,400 from the spider. Oh, wow. The slimes? Slimes are insane. Is that for small slimes too? So the horde mobs gave us 5k in total. Okay. No, more. It gave us 6,400. Yeah, 6,400-ish. Oh, look at the dungeon ones though. Oh my. Okay, dungeon running, hey. Should we do a dungeon hunt run? Um, and then, of course, like, you know, the braciers was kind of insane for us. So this is 80% more experience. So with the burger, we would have got 220,000 there. And we only spent 24 minutes as well. I like this because I don't know the answers. So it's like something to pay attention to. I want to I wanna try a dungeon hunt. I think dungeon hunt can be cracked. Here's the next plan then. Let's do a brazier again. And let's do the same augment. What we're going to do is we're going to dungeon capstone this crystal. Can we get 100k XP? We're just going to go dungeon hunting. So we're going to loot a bit in, inside here as well. Oh, and we can see if we have another lost bounty. I feel like I have more laying around in the system. Kill horde mobs. Okay. 66,500 experience. Bruh. Lost bounties are insane. Berries level 79. Dude. What the hell, man? <laughs> Man's been grinding, eh? <laughs> Let's do this. Only four, though. Only four braciers. So here we want to be picky, eh? There's our first dungeon. I love dungeon capstones, by the way. I think they're so awesome. Hard. Okay, yeah, we can we can run overpower here. And we kill them and we loot, right? I don't think their XP scale to the difficulty of the dungeon. Well, no, it doesn't. That's a cool idea, though. That's a cool idea. I saw another dungeon door there, I think. And I once again forgot my uh, forgot my sword. Oh, we got compressed cube in here, okay? I saw the antique. We're talking a little bit about antiques, by the way. And one thing that me and Hellfire have decided that we're going to do... Let me know what you guys think about this. We're going to do a discovery chain on them. We're going to make it so that the antique will not only host the, the name of whoever created it, because that's important to us as well, and that will be in. But we're also going to make it so that 
when you discover an antique, it will tell you where you found it, but in different steps. So it will say, for example, found in a dungeon. And then the next step would be found in an illager dungeon. And the next step could be found in a hard illager dungeon. So when you've discovered it enough times, you will know where to farm it. Hard spider. By the way, looting the chests here are important. Uh, because they give us experience too. By the way, the harder the dungeons are for us, the better if as long as I don't die. What? How did I die? How did I die? I was fine! It was an extreme. Was it an extreme? It was an extreme. I think it was an extreme. Yep, let's do this again. We're not even gonna think about it, okay guys? I still think Brazier is the way to go here. I think so. Oh, 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 one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Hold. Let's get rid of this. Yeah. And let's add this. That's 10% extra resistance. Can we get one more skill point somewhere? We can get it from depleted. Boom. 15% extra dungeon resistance. That's a lot. Five abrasures. We just gotta get lucky and find some customs, man. This dungeon has uh, killed me before. Is it maybe not worth looting these whenever I have overpower running? Like, is it is it at that rate? Hmm. Normal. Extreme. Okay, here we go. Monka. Remember, rarity of chests improves the XP. Not the trinket. I wonder at what point it's like worth running uh, the goose. Just for the extra XP versus the burger. I suppose never. I don't like this dungeon because of the spawns. That you just saw there. And now I should loot. I got three jewel pouches in one chest. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, the spawns here are kind of scary. Uh, ooh, we don't use wand stone. I'd already clicked it when I read that it was wand. Bro, the amount of champions we get is crazy. Hard we can do this. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I actually put chromatic iron in my backpack so I could do this. This doesn't give you any experience though. So we shouldn't do it. Here we go. Oh, we are slowed. We have to take it though. We just have to take it. Normal spider. Uh, it's this one. Hold hands, Dylan. Hold hands. Hold hands with all the party members. Oh, we got a table. Okay, now the question is... Oh, it's an axe! Come on, man! Ugh. Zombie! Oh, oh! Oh, this is a boring one, though. Imagine dungeon chickens! Oh... Okay, one minute. Um, I think our efforts should be spent on... Brazier. Oh, we fruit for this. It's gonna cost us an orange, but it's okay. It's okay. It's huge. Huge find. We'll just take this. So I think we're two lines, two rooms away. 
GG. 128. There we go. There we go. Nice. 49 from mobs. And where did the rest come from? I guess we then multiply with 40%. I guess so. Yeah. That's fun. It's fun to do dungeon runs.